For decades, the Super Bowl has been a highlight of football season and a world-class entertainment event of the highest order. Even though it started at the season's finale, it turned out to be a night to remember with as much action off-field as there is on-field. It even looks like the duel between the teams is secondary to the number of celebrities attending and the quality of the halftime show. This year, Super Bowl bravely entered the new era with a massive hip-hop-themed entertainment special and a very interesting selection of Super Bowl commercials that were aired during the event. In fact, there were five fresh, innovative and fascinating TV commercials featuring electric vehicles which have transcended the ceiling of conventional marketing and became proper, short movies combining popular culture, history and the future of transportation. That is why we wanted to tell you more about those pieces of modern advertising and their impact on the EV community. Starting off with Dr. Evil from General Motors. Some say that GM is behind the Ford Motor Company in pushing the EV initiative. Still, the latest TV commercial featuring legendary Mike Myers as Dr. Evil and the rest of the Austin Powers movie crew shows that GM is just getting started. In this funny TV ad, we see Dr. Evil making plans to conquer the world as usual. But first, he needs to reduce his carbon footprint. Although goofy and clearly based on previous films, this TV ad is, in fact, very important since it not only shows the full production model GMC Hummer EV and Cadillac concept, but also announces new GM's Ultrium platform which should be at the base of so many upcoming EV models. The Ultrium platform, which underpins the GMC Hummer EV, is a revolutionary design engineered to offer 50-50 weight distribution and be the basis for all kinds of vehicles, from massive off-roaders like Hummer to luxury SUVs from Cadillacs. The exciting thing about this platform is the fact that cells can be positioned horizontally or vertically, which adds modularity to the concept and offers so much versatility when engineering future vehicles. At the moment, capacity is set at 100 kilowatt hours, but a massive 200 kilowatt hour battery is in the pipeline. The Ultrium platform is also designed to be able to charge in a short time, further reducing waiting periods. Next is the BMW iX by Arnold Schwarzenegger. BMW had some questionable TV ads recently. They were all perfectly executed with top-notch photography, but potential buyers and fans were a bit puzzled. It's not what a commercial should be. It's okay to be bold or mysterious, but at the end of the day, the customer needs to be able to get the point. Fortunately, in the latest Super Bowl ad for all-electric BMW iX, potential customers are delivered with a clear message. BMW suggests that even Zeus, a chief deity in Greek mythology and father of all men and gods, enjoys driving the new iX. With up to 610 horsepower, 3.8 seconds to 60 miles an hour, the iX really has a godlike performance. The commercial shows Zeus, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, and his wife, the goddess Hera, played by Selma Hayek, retiring and moving to Palm Springs. Zeus is often frustrated by neighbors and friends asking him for electric power despite the ideal surroundings. After all, one of Zeus's trademarks is a lightning bolt to charge anything by moving his fingers. After causing a complete blackout, Hera surprises him with a brand new iX, which seems to be ideal transportation for such a high-ranking figure from mythology. Not only does it possess fantastic performance and technology, but also uses electric power, which is ideally suited for a figure who is the god of thunder. In the end, we can see Arnold Zeus behind the wheel and using his power to change all the traffic lights to green. That's a very cool trick, we must admit. Number 3 is the Sopranos Chevrolet Silverado Electric. It looks like reviving classic movies and TV shows in a theme in 2022, at least when it comes to Super Bowl commercials. Still, Chevrolet's ad for the new Silverado Electric is an instant classic of the genre and probably the best executed spot we've seen in a long time. Chevrolet's marketing team took inspiration from the legendary TV series The Sopranos for this commercial. 
Unfortunately, James Gandolfini is gone. But his in-show daughter, actress Jamie Lynn Siegler, took his place behind the wheel of a large Chevrolet in an epic recreation of the show's opening credits. The whole commercial is a perfect copy of the show's intro, with Meadow Soprano taking her dad's place. With the tagline, a whole new truck for a whole new generation, Chevrolet introduces us to a new suburban electric, which cruises the New York highways with authority, just like Tony's gas-guzzling suburban did some 20 years ago. When Meadow parks the car, we see that she's parked in charging space using the revolutionary four-wheel steering or crab walk feature, which turns both axles contrary to one another, allowing exceptional levels of maneuverability. The commercial adds with a pretty emotional meeting with her in-series brother, AJ Soprano, played by Robert Ilya, in front of a diner, a cool nod to the controversial season finale. This new generational technology also allowed Meadow to parallel park without all of the problems she had in the season finale. As Soprano fans, we absolutely love the way that Chevrolet spotlighted the Silverado and brought one of our favorite Sunday night pastimes back to life. Number four is the Kia EV6. Kia is one of the most active economy car makers in the EV community right now and the new EV6 crossover is already becoming quite a force on the market. At the moment, this cool-looking all-electric model is available in two power levels, with 58 kWh or 77 kWh battery packs. Despite being a compact family crossover first, in GT spec, it can be a supercar killer, with an astonishing 0-60 time of just 3.5 seconds. However, the performance isn't the best thing. We feel that the 317 miles of range deserves praise. In a charming Super Bowl TV commercial, Kia tries to show the softer side of its new EV6 by saying the feelings are universal. Even if you're a small and incredibly cute battery-powered toy dog, you have to chase your goals, live the life fully charged. Even though there's no complicated plot or cool story behind this ad, it's still an adorable piece of promotional film which shows the softer side of the fully electric world of the future and tries to get female customers' attention by featuring popular actors Sam Page. Number 5 is Polestar Number 2. Polestar is just a Volvo spin-off and to others, it's a very promising company that paved the way for hybrid and battery-powered vehicles we have today. However, all agree that Polestar needs a hit a highly popular and globally available model that will establish this brand at the forefront of the EV industry. Could the number 2 be that model? Polestar 2 is assembled in China, but engineered by Volvo and related to several ICE-powered models as a truly global vehicle. However, this model is a fully electric crossover with a unique design, minimalistic approach, considerable power, performance and respectable range. Yes? it is time that Polestar claims its spot on the market. This is precisely the idea behind the memorable TV ad that runs during the Super Bowl 2022. Without any punchlines, expensive special effects or gimmicks, the Polestar marketing crew managed to rattle some cages in the EV world, launching subtle attacks at Tesla and Volkswagen amongst other companies. To anybody who knows a thing or two about the car industry, Lines like no diesel gate, no shortcuts, and no conquering Mars are clearly linked to Volkswagen's debacle or Elon Musk's focus on mammoth projects that don't have anything to do with electric cars. Although we cannot call this TV commercial the most catching in terms of visual appearance or photography, it's still very memorable. First, because it perfectly follows the minimalistic design cues and second, it calls out companies that are not entirely dedicated to developing carbon-neutral vehicles. We suggest you watch this commercial a couple of times and figure out what brands Polestar is thinking of. What was your favorite Super Bowl ad? Were you surprised by the number of electric vehicles and companies featured in the ads? Let us know in the comments below and like, share and subscribe to our channel for the best and most comprehensive videos from Only411E regarding the world of electric-powered vehicles.